Hi, my name is Sandhya Krishnamurthy. And today I'm going to talk about uh, creating a full text search index um, using the quick index uh, you know, feature that we have on uh, creating indices. Um, for people who are not aware, right? Uh, full text search is a uh, way for you to actually wade through uh, columns that do have large uh, text of data. And then if you want to actually look for a particular word, um, you can actually create like an inverted index on top of that and then do complicated searches. And uh, it's possible to do very, very complex things uh, with this. And this is like the basis for natural language uh, processing search uh, kind of uh, workloads. So let's look at this. What you're looking at here is uh, basically the uh, console, Couchbase console. And on the left-hand side, you basically see one of the uh, menu items called search. I clicked on that. And this is the screen that I uh, come up with. And here I am going to click on quick index. There are two ways to add indices. And if you are a newbie and you're just trying to understand, hey, how does full text work? work you know, I'm just gonna try this out. So if I wanna see if this is a good fit for what I'm trying to do. Um, and you really don't know about the nitty gritty of analyzers. You don't know about um, you know, some other mappings and all of that, which are more complex and you're just learning about this. So we provide a, two APIs for you to create indices, and I'm going to tell you how you can use the quick index today. So let's go ahead and click on this guy, and I'm going to provide an index name. So let me, uh, when you actually click on this, it's going to show you all of the indices that you created in the past. I'm just going to choose like a random name, let's say FTS quick index. That's what I'm going to call it. And then I'm going to pick a uh, key space. I'm going to pick the travel sample. Um, and out of that, you can basically pick up the uh, scope and the collection. Uh, it just pre-populates this, but you are welcome to choose what you uh, have defined on your bucket. Uh, this travel sample bucket basically has a bunch of collections and scopes in it. Uh, I'm just going to go with the inventory and landmark, OK? Um, so what I'm going to do here is this is displaying the JSON, a sample date JSON document from that scope and collection. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to highlight content because that's uh, the uh, you know field on which I want to be creating the index. I'm going to choose the type with the type of this uh, element as text. And then I'm going to choose language as English. You have uh, various choices here. Uh, again, on type, you have a drop down box where you can pick something that is relevant for what you're trying to do. And right here, uh, if you click on the uh, information button, right, it's going to open up a bubble which tells you what this field is all about. In my case, I'm going to check all of them. And uh, what the first one basically means is if you want to include the value in the uh, search results that come back. Uh, and then if you want to actually highlight the actual results, you're able, going to be able to see that. And then if you don't want to specify the column name and you just want to specify a phrase and have a full text search pull up results for you, you, you basically need to check this box. Um, and then if you don't want to specify the column name uh, in the search, right? Uh, then you basically check this box. Uh, the previous one basically allows you to put in like a sentence so you can search it. And this one uh, allows you to just specify a word without specifying which column you want to search. It's not that you lose that functionality. If you do specify the column name and the search text, then it's only going to look at uh, that particular column. And this is like a slightly advanced feature. If you want to support sorting and faceting, then you're going to check that. You know, I'm going to uncheck that and then I'm going to add this. Now, let's say you had another additional field on which you want to do the search, right? I'm going to pick the country, So right? I'm going to pick the country. And uh, again, here I'm going to be, uh, you know, checking all of these uh, boxes here because I want to make sure that I'm able to search on country too. Um, and for language, uh, let's say you want, uh, you know, don't want to use uh, English as the, uh, you know, language, you want to use anything because sometimes, uh, you know, some countries do have different names which may not match English. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And uh, then I'm going to say add. And what this actually means is you're going to be doing full text search on the content column and the country column. Uh, and you have specified rules uh, that uh, go with the 
uh, you know, uh, implementing search on those columns. I'm going to go ahead, create this index, and I'm going to quickly test this out. So in my content field, I know that there is a particular word available, and I'm going to say, let's say, kingdom, right? And I know that in my content, it is available. So when I do that, it's going to basically show me all of the columns where, uh, you know, the kingdom field is, um, uh, you know, specified, right? Now I go back here and I say United because I know this the country is United Kingdom. I go in there and search for it. And now it's going to pull up all of the country, all of the uh, key values with uh, all of the content columns um, having the uh, country as United Kingdom, right? Now you can play around this. Uh, there are really so many different ways you can use this and tweak this. Uh, the purpose of this is to basically tell you it's, uh, such this feature is available uh, and you have uh, a limited number of options that you can specify there just to get you started. And then if you actually go back to this index and uh, click on this, you can go back to the traditional ed editor once you've learned about the option. And when you edit it, it brings up the traditional or classic editor where you can make uh, more changes to it. Thank you very much. Um, I will end the video right here.